everyone, I am Adrija. Welcome to my study room. In this video, we are going to learn about the second chapter of Class Civil Science, Nutrition in Animals. So in the previous chapter, we learned about nutrition in plants. In this chapter, we are going to learn about nutrition in animals. We know that animals have to depend on plants indirectly or directly for food. So animals exhibit heterotrophic mode of nutrition. In this chapter, we are going to learn how animals intake food and utilize it for energy growth, etc. So let's begin. Now let's start with the steps of nutrition. There are five steps of nutrition. Um, they are ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, Ejection. Okay, so we are going to learn about this now. So first is ingestion. Um, the process of intake of food is known as ingestion. We are eating food. This process is known as ingestion. Um, various animals have different organs for ingestion. Like we human beings have mouth. We chew and then swallow the food. But herbivores quickly swallow the grass leaves, etc. And then butterflies, uh, insects like butterflies have long tube-like structures called proboscis by which they suck the nectars of the flowers. Um, and then frogs have long sticky tongue to catch a spray. So various animals have different organs for ingestion. Now let's move to the second one that is digestion. Um, the food that we eat cannot be directly utilized by our body for energy, growth, development, etc. So the food is broken down into simpler and smaller substances. This process is known as digestion. Um, we are going to learn about the human digestive system in details later. Now let's move to the third one that is absorption. Um, the Simpler substances are absorbed by blood. This process is known as absorption. After absorption, the simpler substances are sent to different parts of the body. Now let's move to the um, fourth one, that is assimilation. Um, after absorption, uh, the absorbed nutrients um, are utilized by our body for energy, growth, development, etc. This process by which the absorbed nutrients are utilized by our body is known as assimilation. We are also going to learn about assimilation in details later. Now let's move to the last one that is ejection. Um, all the nutrients cannot be absorbed by our body. So the a food that is not absorbed, that is not digested have to be thrown out of the body. So um, the ejection is the process by which the undigested food are thrown out of our body in the form of phases. That process is known as ejection. So these are the five steps of nutrition. Now let's learn about human digestive system. Now let's talk about the human digestive system. We have already learned about human digestive system in the previous classes. In this class, we are going to learn about the digestive system in details. Um, so we know that it starts from mouth and then goes to the foot pipe, then stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and finally ends in the anus. This is also known as the alimentary canal or the di digestive tract. Um, this alimentary canal is nearly 8 to 10 meter long in adults and there are many glands associated with this alimentary canal like um, salivary glands, liver, pancreas. These glands secrete juices that helps in digestion. So um, this is the human digestive system. In this video, we are going to learn about mouth. In the next video, we are going to learn about the other organs of the digestive system. So let's start. So now let's discuss about mouth. Um, we intake food through mouth, but in the mouth digestion also happens. Um, in the mouth, digestion happens through tongue, teeth and saliva. So we are going to learn about them in details. So first, let's learn about saliva. Saliva is a juice that is secreted by salivary glands. 
these three these three are the salivary glands that secretes the saliva and this saliva contains an enzyme known as salivary amylase that helps in breaking down of carbohydrates um starch into simple sugar um such as maltose and dextrin so saliva is very important for digestion now let's move to the next one that is tongue tongue is actually a muscle due to its muscular nature it can roll in any direction um so this tongue helps to turn and mix the food with saliva and tongue also helps to push the chewed food into the food pipe and this tongue also contains small bud like structures um known as taste buds um they are sensory organs that helps in detecting the taste of different food items um such as sweet sour bitter etc so tongue is also very important for digestion and the last one is teeth teeth is also very important for digestion um and um, there are two sets of teeth milk teeth and permanent teeth um a child of nearly 6 months to 8 years has 20 milk teeth and this milk teeth are temporary set of teeth and this milk teeth are replaced by permanent teeth in the age of 6 to 8 years and there are 32 permanent teeth these are permanent and if they fall once they are not going to grow again and the outer part of our tooth the white part is known as enamel and it is the hardest substance in our body and um, the visible part above the gums is known as crown now we are going to talk about the four different types of teeth that are present in our mouth um they are incisors canines premolars and molars um these four have different functions like incisors help in biting and cutting of food and canines help in tearing of food and premolars and molars help in chewing and grinding of food so these are the functions of this these four different types of teeth and there are four incisors in the upper jaw and four incisors in the lower jaw um there are two canines in the upper jaw and two canines in the lower jaw there are four premolars in the upper jaw and four premolars in the lower jaw and there are six molars in the upper jaw and six molars in the lower jaw so with this we have completed the mouth um we are going to meet in the next video where we will discuss about the other organs of digestive system if you like this video click on like button and stay with me please click on subscribe button thank you